Hey everybody, what I have here in front of me is this old compact laptop that runs on Windows 7 and today of course is the 14th. Let me pull up the date on here. It's January 14th, 2020 as I'm making this video. Well today is the day that Windows 7 is no longer supported by Microsoft. It's no longer officially supported which means you won't be able to get no new updates or no new programs or some companies might make a few might may continue to make a few ver certain versions of certain programs for a couple of years until they decide to pull the plug on Windows 7 so if you're using Windows 7 you probably ain't got no choice to upgrade to 8.1 or Windows 10 but if you can't afford to get a new copy, buy a copy of Windows, you can always switch to a Linux distribution. If you're familiar with Linux and have a decent knowledge of computers. But what I did was, I ended up switching to a Mac. And ever since I switched to a Mac, I never had any problems. The only computer I have that runs Windows 10 is my... I have an Acer computer that runs on Windows 10 but it's not like I use it all the time but it's there if I need to use a Windows machine so I'm gonna still use Windows 7 for certain programs and for certain tasks that I ain't gonna be able to do with like 8.1 or 10 so yeah this computer is actually running Windows 7 Home Premium Service Pack 1 which will show that in the system properties of course but if this video probably does get enough likes or enough views, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make an attempt to install Windows 7 and activate. I'm not going to, I'm going to install Windows 7 on a new, I'm probably going to put an SSD in this computer and do a clean install of Windows 7 and activate it to see if the activation servers still work. Like I did with XP a couple years ago when Microsoft no longer supported XP so yeah but of course you can still be able to do the basic stuff that you can do on any computer if you're not using the internet but it doesn't mean it's going to be useless but it's still going to be used for stuff And if you have like Windows 7 Professional or the Enterprise, you can still be able to get somewhat paid support from Microsoft, but otherwise, it's kind of a, it's a, a sad day for some people though that Windows 7 is no longer supported, but it, and, well, otherwise, it's just time to move on to something new sometimes. But even though something new is not always better, but even though my next computer is gonna all, is gonna be an, an, another Mac once my um, when it's time for me to upgrade my current MacBook Pro and my iMac, but hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.